costs. In two days' time, the very first plane will take off from Brisbane's second runway. It's been eight years in construction, and tonight we reveal the blood, sweat and tears it took to build the massive project and the secret stories buried underneath. From a World War II airbase to Brisbane Airport. Crib Island will be buried under four metres of sand. We were building an airport, not just a runway. And it's been a long-term vision for Mark Willey. He's been on the job since 1972, part of every step helping create today's reality. Dave Smith helped build it all, transforming Swampland. Uh, the first difficult part was the clearing, which was a lot of it was done by hand. Thongs and stubbies were quite normal. Um, and that's all, no shirt or anything like that. It was hard yakka. Uh, we were working in water, and when we wanted a break, we'd have to climb up onto the uh, swamp dozers. More than one went under. Pretty sure there's one dozer out here somewhere that's never been um, recovered. Also pretty sure there's an HQ Holden at the uh, 1432 end somewhere. A whole new runway system capable of taking the largest aircraft is taking shape. By 1988, the airport and current runway opened. But just 16 years later, planning began for the new parallel runway. Paul Coughlin has overseen the $1.1 billion project. It just shows you what Queenslanders can do. You know, this was designed by Queenslanders, it was built by Queenslanders. For those workers who've been part of this project from the very beginning, Sunday's opening will bring mixed emotions. There will be pride, but also sadness. This has been their life's work. I actually spent um, half an hour out where we are here uh, the week before last on sunset, thinking about all the memories. I am feeling a little bit down, uh, I'll be honest. Um, it's been my life for 15 years. What's really satisfying is to see that I have had some influence. The first plane takes off Sunday morning. And I'll be here. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. Well, Luke is back now with your full week.